President Trump has tried to link Barack Obama to the deadly protests in Iran, saying that money from the United States contributed to corruption in the Islamic Republic. At least 20 people have been killed in six days of protests against the regime in Tehran, with demonstrators angry about economic difficulties. The people of Iran are finally acting against the brutal and corrupt Iranian regime. All of the money that President Obama so foolishly gave them went into terrorism and into their pockets, Trump posted about the protests, the largest since repressed gatherings in 2009. The people have little food, big inflation and no human rights. The US is watching. The Iranian economy picked up rapidly in 2016 after the removal of international sanctions in exchange for curbs to its nuclear program. However, the recent protests show dissatisfaction with the pace of improvements and President Hassan Rouhani, a moderate who agreed to the nuclear deal with widespread support from his people. More than 400 people have been reported arrested in the protests, with the head of a revolutionary court saying that they could face the death penalty for the offense of waging war against God. Trump has previously called the deal, negotiated not just with the U.S., but with other major world powers, the worst in history, and kicked a bay to Congress by refusing to certify it last autumn. He and other Republicans have also lambasted the Obama administration for a $400 million ransom payment to Tehran at the time when Americans being kept prisoner there were released. U.S. officials originally denied the payments were related to the prisoners but later admitted that they held back on giving the money due to Iran for an arms deal before the 1979 revolution to put pressure on the captives' release. The most recent movement of protests have caught some Iranian politicians off guard, leading to accusations of foreign influence behind the demonstrations. Iran's Supreme Leader Ayatollah Khomeini said on his website Tuesday that foreign powers were using money, weapons, and intelligence to attempt to interfere with his country's affairs 